हेलो एवरी वन आई एम वेलकमिंग यू ऑल वन सेकेंड टू दिस चैनल सो इन टूडे सेशन वी विल सी हाउ टू प्लॉट चार्ज डेंसिटी यूजिंग वेस्टा सॉफ्टवेयर एंड बिफोर दैट वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट द चार्ज कार फाइल्स फॉर एनी ऑफ द स्ट्रक्चर वेयर वी वॉन्ट टू हैव दिस चार्ज डेंसिटीज टू बी सेव्ड देन वी कैन सी दैट यूजिंग द वेस्टा सॉफ्टवेयर सो फॉर दिस हियर आई हैव टेकन वन स्लैब मॉलिक्यूल वन स्लैब स्ट्रक्चर so uh, i'm going to there so uh, so the postcard file i can show you directly in the vesta software so for this here i'm going to open the vesta uh, so here this is the postcard okay now you can see it like this that uh, this is the structure so uh, the structure is ti2co2 layer this is a mixing layer and here what i have done so initially i have taken the unit cell then i have made the uh, super cell you by uh, having this 3 cross 3 by 1 unit cell like uh, super cell then this is how it looks like and uh, after this what i have done like this uh, along the z direction these are the vacuum layer so vacuum we are maintaining so that the interlayer interaction can be uh, cannot be there so to avoid those interaction we have made this vacuum uh, little uh, larger along c axis so this way we have uh, like the structure has been made and next part is to next part is to show the incar file so here i am opening the incar file so you can check that that we are having the system which is optimized uh, which we want to optimize the, the that is ti to co2 structure and we have taken normal optimization and these uh, this l wave and l charge file we don't want to write it now and we have taken isi2 where the volume relaxation will not be there and this any lm this uh, electronic relaxation we have taken up to 220 steps and this any lmdl is also another uh, kind of convergence criteria where if our simulation is running slowly then we can use some sort sort of this kind of uh, tag so that it can be run faster so it can skip some initial scf structure scf calculation and it can go further so this way and if you want we can also search the same mm. okay here i'm going to search the same so bas wiki so i'm searching here that this bas manual and here we can search for nel mdl okay you can see that it specifies the number of non self consistent step at the beginning so uh, this way it can uh, this way we can set our number so it is given like you can read if you really want this and so for my uh, specific structure i need this one next is this i spin too so this i spin will you uh, utilize the spin polarized calculation so this i spin here i have taken so i spin 2 it specifies the spin polarization 2 is for spin polarized calculation uh, collinear error perform so this way you can use and this l orbit also we can search as this is new for us so l orbit what it will do here you can come and what it will do it will write the dos car and i am decomposed pro car that means what it will do it selects a projection method onto local quantum numbers l and m and writes pro car or pro out so this kind of file it can write which will have all this quantum like this this quantum number uh, values it can have all these numbers so uh, so to write that we need this l orbit uh, um, tag and next is the magnetic moment so depending on the number of atoms that you have so i can also show you that how many numbers of atoms we have so i am opening the postcard and uh, incar at a time so you can see that here we are having nine carbon atom 18 and 18 oxygen and ti uh, ti atoms so you see so nine into so the value of magnetic moment for carbon is zero so in bas if you will check that instead of writing zero we usually write some number like 0.6 which is very less that it is all it is also the meaning of that is also that it is not taking any magnetic moment into it 
and uh, for uh, oxygen also we have provided the same that is which is nearly zero and for titanium we have taken this magnetic moment as 2.0 and it is completely based on your calculation whether you want to have high spin or low spin calculation that is depending on this numbers so you can have it and next uh, is the, all these are is a like all these are our uh, optimization uh, like parameters that we generally use like force cutoff energy cutoff and this uh, ivri on which kind of relaxation we want and this is how put in like the step uh, like the relaxation step how it will go and this is a smearing and this way we can go and next part is this uh, this van der Waal correction so if you want some van der Waal interaction among your uh, like atoms present in that particular structure then you can use this kind of uh, tags i can also show you here that what does the meaning of this ivdw so this ivdw it specifies the van der Waal dispersion term of the atom pair wise or many body type so if uh, you want to have this then you have to first make it true that we want this lvdw as true and then for ivdw you can take different different uh, methods so here for 11 value we have taken dft d3 method without uh, with zero damping function so this way you can take any number based on the literature that you are reading or based on your work which is uh, like whatever it is demanding so this way you can change the tags and these are certain parameters which uh, which are already predefined in our basque wikipedia these are some standard values that we have taken here so these these are called density mix, mixing kind of uh, uh, in in input tags so which will help our system to uh, to come to an equilibrium faster than uh, taking a very lengthy calculation so this tax you can also use next part is to let's go from here and uh, let me check with like what we have done here so after preparing this input and this and also here i can also show you the k points that wh what kind of k points we have taken that as we know that our uh, z axis is elongated towards uh, to uh, little larger than the a and b values uh, so here we have taken the k points as 3 3 and 1 so as we know that in whatever we are doing in the re real space it has to be like the reciprocal in the k space so this way we have taken one in in the kth value in the z value so okay let's go and uh, actually i have received one uh, request that how to write this uh, podcar file so that also i can show you here that as we have seen that we need ox carbon oxygen and titanium so for that here i am going to write this uh, uh, podcar file just to show him so okay so for that the, there is a comment cat you can also check the same thing in the basque wiki that how to write po podcar file so i am searching podcar over here you see that this is the comment so cat then go to the directory where all your potential like this power potential files are available then you can take for take the podcar file for all element then you can save it to a particular podcar so here i am going my podcar is on the software then basp then port pow so this is my directory according to your uh, system you have to go towards your directory then next part is we need a uh, carbon so here c then port car file for carbon i want to have next part is again we have to do the same thing bus then port pow next is oxygen atom and then port car for oxygen next again go to the software then bus then port pow then titanium then port car and again save all these three port car to a single port car okay now you can see there is a port car file came over here so how do we know that uh, all these three elements are really present over there or not so for that there is another comment so i am writing here grape title port car so now see that what we are having here c o and ti so the sequence has to be maintained over uh, over here 
as per the port curve post curve file so here the sequence is co and ti so here you can check that co and ti so if you want to also look into that file so you can also check it like this is for carbon and this way if you will go uh, much below then you will find for oxygen so this is for oxygen and again go down go down and you will have this for ti so this way you can verify and simply by writing this comment so everything is available over here you can go and search and i even i also have got every comment from the bas wiki only so you can get it from there okay now all our input files are ready so i have already optimized the structure so i am going to this and then i will go to the output so here is the output set now here we can have our outcut file and come to down see by entering shift plus g together then here you can see that the structure is reached to the accuracy and stopping structural energy minimization and this is our free energy totem that we have got it as minus 406 point something so uh, now what is our work our work is to check with that charge car is saved or not as we have mentioned that in the input file we have written false tag for uh, l wave and l charge that means we don't want to write charge car or con or uh, wave car every time so then what we will do so uh, here also i can show you that uh, this charge car is written or not so chg car so you see this file is blank that means uh, it's not written so for that what we can do so when in a specific case we want some charge car or wave car file then we can directly write that without running the entire optimization again we can simply use a scf calculation so i am going to this scf you see here so here what i have done so i have taken the concar file from the optimized structure then with the same input where i have only changed the value of nsw from 200 to 0 and l charge are true so, uh, earlier it was here also i can show you the earlier incar so you see the same incar file we are following so this way we can compare that you can see that instead of l charge false we have written true here and here we are doing the uh, we are doing the ionic relaxation rather here we, we are doing the scf by putting nsw as zero so this way you can run your simulation and then in the outcar file we will get our charge car so you see here that this is our charge car which is well written okay so now everything is fine so what's next next is we can see this charge car file using our using our uh, uh best of software so i am going to this scf then output okay now i will open my charge car file using vesta so now you see here that uh, our charge density file is came now like this is how the charges are distributed over the surface of this t ti to co2 structure and this way you can visualize it and there is also another way that we are going to see after this so now i am seeing it from different different angle you can check that what is happening that this is the uh, the surface like from along this a and b axis we can see this plane and from different different plane you can also see and here is also another way to edit you go to the objects then properties then iso surface so this these are what we are seeing are nothing but the iso surfaces so here the positive value is um, um, like here we can see two colors one is the sky color and one is the uh, no no here i think only one color is visible so but it it has some positive and negative surfaces okay so here if you will click over here there is a option to change this iso surface value so if we want it to be something uh, like 1.2 then press enter then you see that some changes are happening if you wanted 0.5 then 
see like the ch- uh, like the char densities are decreasing so this way wow, like wow, which amount you of isosurface you want you can also put and uh, according to that you can save your structure and next part is uh, some uh, like here we are we are able to see some kind of cuts so if i will put this one five then yeah you can see like on the surface we are seeing some like half circle you see these are kind of half circles we are seeing that's why it is showing as sky color in this way so for this let's go to object then volumetric data then show sections you have to remove this so now you see like the cut surfaces are now vanished now what we can see okay then a you come to here you see that the colors like the different colors are not visible now it's coming as the a single sphere and with the same color like the yellow color so this way we can see our char densities how it is distributed over the structure and also there is another way to do the same thing if you are using basket then what can we do so uh, let's open our basket here so this is the basket i have opened so uh, so to do any kind of char density analysis we have to press 31 so i am pressing 31 here then after that uh, to do the char density analysis you have to write 311 so i am clicking 311 okay enter so it gave us one file that is charge dot basp okay next i am going to open the same file here which i have already uh, taken to this local computer so this chart dot basp file is all also here so i am going to open the same in the vista software so now you see this is nothing but the same structure that we have got from our chart scar file okay so you can have some modification over here how we have whatever we have done in this structure so this way you can modify okay next part is what we can also do some spin analysis so you see as we have given our i spin equal to 2 that means this structure is a spin polarized structure so for this if we want some spin related calculation then again we have to do uh, we can go to 31 then here is the option like spin density if you want to check the spin density we can press 3 1 2 okay enter now it will give us it gave another file that is spin dot dot bus file so here we are already having the same file so i am opening it here okay now you check that uh, this is our spin spin related calculation file so this way it came and based on your requirement you can plot spin density you can have your spin density or char density and visualize them with uh, this uh, vesta software and you can also do some uh, necessary edi edit like you can do some editings like which surfaces you want to show whether you want to show this extra cuts over the boundary or not so these are all you can uh, control by you by um, like through this software so this way we can visualize our spin density and char density and this much for today's session and thank you all.